Hey guys, it's me, 80s Wolf of War. So today, guys, I'm going to give you guys my quick thoughts on Barcelona 2, Cadiz, and Neil, guys. So this will be a quick match reaction, hopefully around 5 to 6 minutes. And if you're new out here, considering that subscribe button, hit that like button as well, as we continue our quest to getting 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year, hopefully. Anyways, let's go talk about some players that stood out to me. Ferran Torres, let's talk about him. Ferran Torres was probably the man of the match. For me, he was really good on the day. You know, creating those dribbles, making those tight spaces. He created the first goal. And yes, the statistics aren't really in his favor because he didn't get a goal nor an assist. However, if you actually watch the game, he was impactful. He was definitely Barca's best player in the day. I know a lot of people say Roberto was Barca's man of the match. And for me, he was good. I just think Ferran Torres did for me more in the 90 minutes that Roberto did. Roberto still had a good game, though, to be fair. And so you have Ferran Torres, man, great performance from him. Let's hope that he can continue this form because, like I said, guys, with Ferran Torres, I feel he's a very much a confidence-based player. And, and and I think him going in the, this kind of performance is definitely going to help him a lot, especially with, you know, with Dembele being injured, he can slot in, and especially with Gavi being suspended for the second leg. You know, maybe it could be our forward, you know, be that difference maker for us. Although I still have question marks over him because, let's be real, guys, this is Cadiz. This is a team that's like 16th place. So it's not really that impressive, like, if we're being real here. Now, if he does this against, like, Manchester United at Old Trafford, we might have to have a conversation, guys. We might have to have an uncomfortable conversation that happens. But regardless, um, let's see if he turns up that day. But, um, yeah, anyways, it's still good to see. Hopefully, he can be this, and continue to be this consistent, of course. The next player I want to talk about today was Lewandowski. I think Lewandowski, he showed up today and got a crucial goal. And I think Lewandowski, you can see how coming into this game, there was a lot of criticism in his recent form, him not scoring. And obviously, being a striker of his caliber, he needs goals to back it up, right? And strikers of the day, they need goals. And whenever they get goals, they're very good, right? And that's their currency. That's how they are evaluated by, you know? And I think for Lewandowski, he needed this goal, especially before that second leg at Old Trafford. It's a very much a decisive game, and we're going to need Lewandowski to turn up. And there's a lot of criticism that state that he's just not a big game player. And so let's see if he can, you know, silence critics on Thursday, you know? And then finally, the last player I want to discuss about, it is um, Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati. Oh, actually, I do want to discuss another guy, but we'll, discuss, we'll save him for last. Ansu Fati. Um, guys, I think it might be time to call it. Ansu Fati, for me, guys, I like the guy. I still have faith in Ansu Fati. However, it is clear that this guy is just not really it, you know. And you can see how this game in particular, he wasn't able to do really much of anything, you know. He had some decent touches in there, but it just doesn't look like his old self, man. He doesn't look like his old explosive self. You know, he looks a bit like... um. He looks doesn't he doesn't look motivated. He kind of doesn't. He feels like he's like out of place. And he just doesn't have the confidence, you know. And it's really worrying because Ansu Fati is obviously a La Masia product, and he's supposedly like our number ten guy. And it's just like I don't know, man. I don't know what to do with Fati, you know. Um, because like I said, guys, if he continues this kind of bad run of form for these next couple of seasons, I wouldn't be surprised he gets sold. Now that being said, I don't want to give up on Ansu Fati just yet. We have seen with players that they've had a really bad season. And then the next season, they could really blossom. In fact, Xavi was actually comparing Ansu Fati to Marcus Rashford. We all know Marcus Rashford had a terrible season last season. This season, look how good he's been. So maybe we should wait until next season and see what he can do. Because if, let me just say this right now, guys. If Fati doesn't show up next, I'm going to give him, um, I'm going to give him two or three seasons. If he doesn't show up sometime soon, we might have to call it quits. But as I said, though, let's be patient. Let's not get reactionary here just yet because... Um, he could still be an amazing player. And then the final player I want to discuss about today, then I'll wrap it up with you guys, is Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen, for me, was brilliant on the day. Mark andre Ter Stegen has been insane. Because let's be real, guys. Barcelona didn't even play that well for most of this game. For the first half, they were very good. Cadiz in the second half were on it. They almost actually made the comeback. Because they had two disallowed goals. They were, Ter Stegen had to make some brilliant saves. Ter Stegen is the reason why we can't rely from this game. And... Ter Stegen has just been that guy. He's been keeping so many clean sheets, making so many saves. He's just been incredible this season. And without Ter Stegen's insane form, guys, we probably wouldn't even be first in La Liga. Or if we're first, you know, I don't think we would be top of the league right now. You know, it just shows how good uh, Ter Stegen is, man. So those are my quick thoughts on the game. You know, like I said, guys, I want to give credit to um, Barcelona for winning. You know, obviously the goals came from Sergio Roberto. 
and then obviously Robert Lewandowski. So I want to let I want you guys to comment down below your thoughts on this game. And remember, guys, if you're not even considering that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Also, consider becoming a member of the channel. Share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.